Uh, whoa. Uh, wave. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Kara and Abby here again. Happy Tuesday. Today's craft activity is going to be um, a nature weaving project. So you're gonna have to go outside and get some sticks, some flowers, and we'll show you a little bit later in this video how to do that. Um, we're also gonna do a read aloud and we're gonna do a cooking lesson and the cooking lesson today is ice cream in a bag. Um, and then we'll share the brain buster with you. So we hope you enjoy these activities. As you guys can see, there's a cup um, that you're gonna need, a tablespoon, a half a teaspoon, sugar, vanilla, half and half, salt, ice, a gallon bag, and then a quart bag. Um, and you're gonna combine this stuff in the small bag and then shake it with the ice and salt in the gallon. Your first step is combining a cup of half and half, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract in the small bag. For the next step, you're gonna put three cups of ice and a third of a cup of kosher salt into your gallon bag. And then you're gonna place a small bag inside the gallon bag and shake it vigorously for seven to 10 minutes until your ice cream is hardened. All right, we've shaken our ice cream for 10 minutes and now we're gonna take it out of the bag and put it into our bowl to eat. And you can add any kind of toppings you want to your ice cream. You could put chocolate syrup on it, you could put bananas, any kind of fruit, sprinkles, make it your own. Mmm, this is delicious. Make sure you guys send us your pictures. Today for our craft, we are doing a nature weaving activity. For the nature weaving activity, you will need to go outside and gather some supplies. We gathered some sticks we found in the yard and different types of grasses. Any kind of string or yarn will work. If you follow along in the next clip, you'll see how we make the nature weaving activity. As you'll see in this video, I made mine into a triangle. So I used three different sticks and I just tied the ends together to secure them. And then um, I went and wrapped the string all around to make it like a web. And then you can take your supplies that you gathered, so your grass, um, or leaves, or flowers, and you can shove them in the middle to make it into a design. And here is the final product. For our read aloud today, we're gonna read the story, Snail Brings the Mail. Hooray for Snail, he brings the mail. Day in, day out, he will not fail. A box for Fox and three for B. Oh wow, says Owl, 10 cards for me. You missed the party in my tree, so I see. From dawn to dusk, snail's on the go. He does work hard, but he's so slow. His friends may have to wait all day. Poor snail, he does his best, they say. When morning things go wrong for snail, he wakes up late, he drops the mail. 
It starts to rain, it starts to hail. Snail won't give up, I must not fail. The cold wind blows, it's quite a gale. The sky turns dark and snail turns pale. The road is flooded, bad luck snail. He can't get through, snail whales, I failed. But look a tractor up for sale. The deal is done, now watch snail go. He won't get stuck in rain or snow. These days the mail is right on time and snail gets through come rain or shine. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you look in the comments to find our brain buster. Um, we'll post it there in the comments and see you guys Thursday. Bye guys.